Hey guys, welcome to Speak About Digital. In this video, I'm going to guide you on how you can easily use Workable. I'm going to cover a very quick basic tutorial to get you going and understand how Workable works. So if you have no idea about Workable and how to get started, then this video is for you. Workable is a powerful recruitment software designed to optimize your hiring process. In this tutorial, I will guide you step-by-step -step on how to use Workable. Just before we start, please consider giving me a thumbs up. Otherwise, I will go right ahead and jump right into the Workable tutorial. The first thing that you want to do is, if you didn't create your account yet, you will have a link down below in the description. It's very easy to create an account. And if you already have an account, just skip this step. Workable offers two options to sign up. You can either request a demo or start a free trial that lasts for 15 days. We are going to start a free trial. To sign up for the free trial, simply enter your first name, last name, work email, and password. Once you have entered this information, click on the Start Free Trial button to proceed. Next, you will need to enter some additional information about your company. This includes your company name, company website, and phone number. The phone number is not required, so you can easily get rid of it. After you've provided this information, click on the Start Free Trial button again to continue. You will then be redirected to another page where you will need to activate your Workable account. Follow the instructions provided on this page to complete the activation process. So here we are in my Workable account. First, I'll show you what you can actually find in Workable. Then, I will show you how we can use Workable. Once you have activated your Workable account, you will be taken to the dashboard. The dashboard is the central hub of the Workable platform, and it is where you will be able to manage all of your recruiting activities. There are several different tabs on the dashboard, each of which serves a specific purpose. The first tab is the Jobs tab which is the default tab on Workable. From this tab, you can create a new job posting and manage all of your open job positions. The Candidates tab is where you can search through all of your candidates using various keywords. You can filter your search results by department, job, stage, tags, consideration, and more. This makes it easy to find the right candidates for your open positions. The People Search tab allows you to search for people using various criteria such as keyword, location, company, and university. You can also pin your searches for easy access in the future. The Agenda tab is where you can view your upcoming calls, interviews, meetings, and internal appointments. The Reports tab allows you to see various types of reports related to your company's recruiting activities. You can view reports on candidate sources, diversity, and more. The Activity tab provides a real-time overview of all hiring activities, including candidate status updates, interview scheduling, and communication history. You can filter the results by actions, jobs, stages, candidates, and more. The search box allows you to search for specific candidates within your database, this makes it easy to find the right candidates quickly and efficiently. The Inbox tab allows you to view and manage all candidate communication, including messages and emails. Finally, the Profile tab allows you to manage your personal information such as your name, contact details, job title, and password. This is where you can update your account settings and preferences. Now, to create a new job in Workable, Click on Create a New Job at the top right corner of the main dashboard. This will take you to a new page that is divided into different sections, including posting job details, designing the application form, finding candidates, inviting team members, and creating a workflow. In order to unlock the other sections, you must first complete the initial job details section. When creating a new job posting in Workable, it's important to provide job details that will help applicants understand the role. This includes the job title, location, and requirements. To do this, you can simply type in the job title 
and select the location from the drop-down menu. If the job is fully remote, you can tick the Fully Remote box. Next, provide a detailed job description, requirements, and benefits of the role. What I really like about Workable is that it's really simple to edit from templates. You have hundreds of templates to choose from that you can use if you don't want to write everything by yourself. Using the templates, you can add the description, the responsibilities, the requirements, and the benefits as fast as you can. In addition to job details, you can also select a department for the job from the drop-down menu. If you haven't added any departments to your account, you can easily add new ones by visiting the Departments Settings page. It's also important to fill in the Company Industry and Job Functions section to give applicants a better idea of the role. You can provide job targeting details such as industry, function, salary, employment type, and more. Once you've completed all of the necessary fields, you'll see two options at the end of the page. Save Draft or Save and Continue. If you need other members of your team to provide feedback on the job before it's published, choose Save Draft. Otherwise, choose Save and Continue to move on to the next step of creating an application form. After providing job details for a new job posting in Workable, the next step is to create an application form. This is where you can design a form that applicants will fill out when applying for the job. In the application form, you can add personal information fields such as name, email, and phone number. Additionally, you can add profile information fields such as education and experience, and allow applicants to upload their resumes. To get a better sense of an applicant's qualifications, you can also add fields for a cover letter and questions related to the job. After completing the application form, you'll see the option to publish at the top right of the screen. Before publishing, it's a good idea to preview the job to ensure that it looks the way you want it to. You can do this by clicking on the Preview Job button at the upper corner of the screen. Once you publish the job, you can find all the candidates who have applied for the job under the Candidates section. Workable allows you to invite team members or coworkers to collaborate on a job that you've posted. This can be helpful for getting feedback on job postings, reviewing applications, and communicating with candidates. To invite team members or coworkers to collaborate on a job, simply go to the Team Members section of the job posting. In the Workflow section, you can set up a structured interview process by creating an assessment test for the job you posted. This feature allows you to create customizable tests that can be sent to candidates to evaluate their skills and knowledge related to the job requirements. And there you have it, a beginner's guide to using Workable. There's more to learn about Workable, so if you're interested in an advanced tutorial, let me know in the comments and I'll be happy to make it happen whenever I get a chance. You can check the links in the description, that helps a lot, thank you. So again, if you found this video helpful, Please give me a thumbs up and if you have any questions at all, please comment below. I try to answer all of the comments the best I can. Thanks for watching and take care.